Hi guys, it's HammyGirls3114 and today I'm going to be showing you how to make homemade hair fresh. I've only made homemade hair fresh once. Um, that I did that a lot, a, like a long time ago, and it didn't work out that well. But I've been doing some more research on it, and I'm going to try it again. So this is going to be my second time making it, and I'm going to see how it works. So I'm going to show you what you need and you guys get to watch me go through the process. So what you will need is a bucket. I'm just using this red bucket. Um, some printer paper. Um, the first time I did it, I used newspaper and that didn't work out that well. So now I'm going to use printer paper and I'm going to try and color it. So I have some pink paper. I'm just gonna try and make it pink, I don't know. Um, some scissors to cut the strips. Um, a paper towel, it helps it absorb it more, I guess, and some toilet paper. You can also use tissues if you want. So first what you're going to do is fill up the bucket with warm water, but not like really, really hot water. Not boiling water, but warm water. Okay, so sorry for the awkward angle that I had when I was filling up the bucket of water. That was because we couldn't find this one piece that we need for the tripod, and so I couldn't use it. But we found the piece, so now I can use the tripod and the angles won't be that weird anymore. So, um, I just filled up the bucket with warm water, and now I'm going to put the, um, the pieces of paper into, like, the strips in, into the water, and I'm going to let it sit there for about five minutes. So I'm just going to um, let that sit there for about five to ten minutes and every so often I'm just going to like move it around and how the paper turns um, pink is the dye from the pink paper is going to rub off onto the white and it'll eventually turn pink. Okay, so here it is after um, like two minutes. It's not turning pink yet. I think that's because I need to use construction paper, but um, we'll just see how this turns out. And I'm just going to wait a couple more minutes to let it settle. I'm just going to bring this back in the shade. And we're just going to then, after about a couple more minutes, um, I'm going to start squishing it up. Okay, so it's been about seven minutes. And this is what it looks like. I just left it alone. And I started every, like, two, three minutes. And... The, like, the white isn't very pink, but that's probably because I need construction paper, but, um, I didn't have any, so I'm just using pink paper, whatever, and if it doesn't turn out good, that's okay, whatever, and now I'm going to start, um, shredding this up, so it will become more of a pulpy instead of a, like, a strippy kind of stuff, I don't know. So now I'm going to start um, mushing it up. Okay, so the water is cloudy, so I think that's a good thing, and the white is starting to turn a purpley color, so I think the pink dye is coming off a little bit, but um, so far it's cloudy and it's 
a pulpy consistency, which is good, but I'm going to keep squishing and mushing it up, and I'll be right back. I'm not going to record that, um, just because it might take a while for me to actually get it to the consistency where I want it. So, okay, so I got it to what I wanted, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the paper towel and the toilet paper um, so it will be more absorbent when I put it in the cage. So I'm going to add that and then I'm just going to keep mixing it and squishing it around. So first I'm going to add this in there and now I'm going to grab the toilet paper. So ugh, long reach and I'm just going to put that in there. So now I'm going to mush and squish it up some more to mush and squish the um, napkin. I mean the paper towel but um you guys can't see it but I just took the um, paper towel out and it looks pretty um pinkish and purpley it's more of a light purple light pink but I think it's working the water is definitely a pink color so I think there's a little success in um making the dyed so making it dyed so now I'm just going to mush this and squish it up and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just added some more um, paper towel. So I just got to mix it up, but right now it's looking pretty good. The consistency is pretty good and stuff. And the color wise, it's turning out okay. It's not like as pink as I thought it would turn out because I'm not using the um, construction paper, but it's turning out pretty good. and. Um, from adding the paper towel and the toilet paper, um, the like the squishiness and the softness is really good, and I think the um, absorbency is going to work very well. So I'm just going to mix this up. And so I've got this just the way I wanted. It's a good pulpy consistency, and um, I think it's going to turn out really good. Um, Smell-wise, it smells like wet paper. Um, Color-wise, it's pretty purpley, pinky, sort of. Um, the absorbency and softness is definitely a lot softer than when I first did this with newspaper. So I think this is going to be a real success. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my front yard and I am going to show you what I'm going to do then. So keep watching and I'll show you what I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm out in my front yard and I'm now going to take the almost ready um, look like Carefresh out. And what you're going to need for that is paper plates and a more paper towels. So let's start this. So first what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a handful of the Carefresh that I have and I'm just going to get out some and I'm just going to squish all the excess water out. So I'm trying to squish out as much water as I possibly can so this will be easier when drying. And you're just going to clump it into this little ball, like this. And you're going to set it on a paper plate. Now, I brought out two paper plates because I made a lot of Carefresh. And you're just going to keep on doing that until you can't get any more out. So here are my balls, um, oh you can't see them, but they look like this, they're um, pretty small, but like this one's really small because I couldn't get any more out. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump all that water and stuff onto here and the water is going to drain through into the grass because I'm going to do this in the grass 
and the other rest of the pulpy stuff is going to stay on there, which I'm just going to easily scoop up and put on the plate. So as you can see, basically most of the stuff that's left in there is water, but there is still a little bit of stuff left in there, so I'm just going to dump it out. Okay, so this is what's left. I couldn't get it out. Um, I could use a strainer, but I don't have one. I do have one for food, but my parents don't want me straining this through something we used to eat with. So what I'm going to do with this excess stuff, I don't want it to get clogged in something. So I'm going to do right over here. It looks like someone threw up. Um, so basically what's going to happen is this stuff is just paper and water and it's biodegradable so it's okay for the earth like I'm not I just didn't like kill the earth all of it is going to like kind of disintegrate and it's like water and paper and so it's fine for the earth nothing bad's going to happen um it's biodegradable so um it's fine but here are the finished products um, obviously this isn't what Carefresh looks like. It's now going to sit outside in the sun for a couple of days. And each day I'm going to check on it and we're going to see how dry it is. Of course I'm going to film that. Why wouldn't I? And, um, yeah, so this is the final product. Um, most of it turned, like, pink. But there are still, like, some spots where it's, like, multicolored. But most of it actually turned out pink, so... It's a success, I guess. Um, so now I'm just going to um, leave this out in the sun for it to dry, and I'll go check on it tomorrow. So I hope you guys enjoyed this portion of the video, and we'll stay tuned for the video tomorrow, which will follow right after this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you guys um, enjoyed me trying to do this. Um, for me, it's a success. Um, I think... What I should have done is used a bandana or an old washcloth and just poured it in over a sink or something, but I'm not that smart, I guess. I wasn't really thinking. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy it anyways. So after this video, um, each day I'm going to um, check up on it and I will show you how it's doing. I'll also do a review on it because I will um, put it in my hamster's cage. I just want to test it out. I probably won't be doing this again just because um, it's kind of a hassle and it's time consuming. This took me an hour to do and I'm really hot and sweaty. So as a treat, I'm going to go swimming now because I'm really hot. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, please personal message me them because I'm not going to allow comments on this video. As you can see, scroll down. So, I just gave you some time to scroll down. If you didn't use it, too bad. You can stop the video. And, um, I'm not allowing comments. Um, if you do have any questions or concerns or any tips for me, um, please personal message them to me. I don't want you guys to, um, comment below because I know I'm probably going to get a bunch of negative comments. But, um, please just personal message me your comments and I'll show you how to do that after this and i hope you guys enjoyed so thanks for watching um personal message me rate and subscribe bye um watch my following videos for the um review so thanks for watching bye